What's up guys, it's me, LSP Spectra here in another video in Wayward Terran Frontier. Bringing a tutorial about this this building menu. Now, I am in the basic one, um, that's just straight out of the menu. But it's the exact same one that's inside the game, except the stuff you'll see on the left hand side is a little bit more limited based on what you've unlocked in the campaign. Now I'm going to split this uh, tutorial into parts. Um, so if this is just coming out, you can wait till further part if that's where you'd want help with. Or you can skip to it if it's been out for a while. I'm going to basically dedicate a part to almost, basically to the overall UI, which is what I'm going to do today. And then the different tabs. So let's get started with this UI. Um, now obviously you can scroll in and out to move in, to zoom in closer. It's kind of limited. Um, and then you've got the arrow keys. Now most of the stuff is, you can kind of see different things on the menu to help you. But I'm going to kind of explain things to you. Now you'll notice when I hover over something, it gives me information about the module, um, which is the different things that you can that you can actually place onto the ship. Um, that is because we have this uh, question mark deal selected, and so when I don't have anything in my in my hand to place down, when I hover over, um, it will be there. So I remove the thing from my hand, and it's right there. Now how I did that so quickly is I selected something from the side menu. I was able to click it. Now I can press spacebar to remove it. You can see it's no longer on my cursor. Now I can also hit spacebar over something to grab what that was. So now I have armor in my hand, remove it. I do it over the missile or the turret. Now I have the turret in my hand, spacebar to remove. So if you're hovering over and that, and this text is blocking you from seeing something, Go over and grab something small and hover it over again and you'll no longer have that. You can kind of get the same thing from the dropper. It, it gets you, but spacebar is a quick way to do it. You also have the group select over here on the left where you can group select modules um, and you can use this to help you copy, paste, and delete. So if I decide to delete this, I can select that, and I believe I press the delete key, yep, and it deletes it. You can also press control Z to undo that. Um, you can select this and do control C to copy it, and I believe you can then do control V, and you can now paste it wherever you like. Remove that from my, inventory, uh, from my mouse, go back to this, and that's uh, mostly the basic mouse controls. Um, and keyboard controls, or at least the ones that I use the most. Now, when you're building, this is obviously already built. Um, you may have noticed that while I was hovering over, I'm actually going to select armor so we don't have that text. We have different power deals. Now, this is kind of like a mini menu of what is the power overlay, or energy overlay. So if I clicked energy overlay, I can now see what is connected and what is not. So yellow um, is a module that's been connected, and green is the wiring and blue is a source. So, for example, if I come over here and delete that, we can now reset our... Oh, no, it's still connected right there. And it auto-updates. So now this is all red. You, saw, you see that the wires go red and the module itself goes red. That means that is not connected to energy. Now, clicking the energy overlay shows it for the entire ship, but if we unclick that and just hover over this component, we can see that it is disconnected. Um, if I grab a power conduit... We can reconnect it and we can see that it is now connected, but we can also follow what it's connected to. So it only highlights the network that it's connected to. So it's connected to the small reactor right here, as well as the big reactor right here, which is also connected to all of this. So it kind of helps you narrow down and follow pathways of power that you've set up and kind of help you keep that all straight and make sure that you didn't accidentally leave a wire or cross wires when you didn't intend to. Things like that. Um, in terms of the stuff up here, we've got the turret overlay, which shows uh, the degree of rotation your turrets have. So we'll go to this one as a good example. Uh, the turret, what are they called? Their turret tracks are, are placed in a, sen in a way to where this turret can rotate all of this degree and cannot rotate here. So if you aim right here, it's not going to go to... If you were aiming here and move your mouse to over here to aim, the turret's going to have to rotate all the way around. 
that kind of gives you your field of coverage. Now, this ship has a lot of turrets, so this place is kind of hectic in that sense, but it does give you a good sense of um, how much coverage your turrets are giving you in terms of uh, shooting rotation. Next is, uh, this one's kind of an interesting one, lights on and lights off. So lights off allows you to see what your ship would look like while you're driving it. So you can kind of see whether it's going to bug you and you need more hallways with lights to be able to see a little bit better. This kind of gives you an idea of what the ship is going to look like while you're flying around. And then lights on is like you're in the shop and you turn on your shop lights and now can see everything. It's kind of a cool feature, um, not necessarily needed, uh, but it can be nice to see how much your hallways are lit up if it bugs you if that bugs you now the one that i use the most is mirror if i turn on mirror you now see the dotted line through the middle this allows you if we zoom in if i select this armor piece we can now in mirror place objects and delete objects uh you can see it how i have two turrets a little bit bigger it's just is really nice especially when filling in shield to only have to do half the ship so much nicer i highly encourage you using this mirror option often um especially if you're a fan of symmetry like i am when building ships um it just makes it so you only have to do something once rather than twice <laughs> it makes a really big difference um so i use the mirror function the most out of everything up here and then secondly probably energy overlay I don't often use turret overlay, but it is nice to get an idea at the very end to make sure you didn't miss anything. Uh, over here, you got some good information. You got the price of your ship, how much it's going to cost you to make. It's inertia value and integrity value. Um, we'll go more into this in a later tutorial, but for now, what you need to know is that your integrity needs to be higher than your inertia or your ship will start to break. Or it can break faster. Essentially, this number needs to be higher than this one for it to be good. Mass can be important to kind of maybe help you decide how many, how much engines you need. Um, but overall mass, I don't really use this number very much. Cargo space is how many squares of cargo you have. That can be nice. Um, reactor count, um, optimal power, uh, optimal heat output, maximum heat venting. It can be useful if you're trying to determine stuff for uh, reactors and such. Um, but... I don't find it too useful. Um, you can click on modules and they can give you information. A reactor is the only one that I know of. You kind of get the same information from just hovering over, though, if you do want to compare two reactors to see what they're currently at, that is useful to keep that menu up. Um, let's see here. I forget what these do. Why am I forgetting what these do? Oh, this is just hot swap between uh, materials you have used. If you want to keep a hot swap menu up, if you're, if that helps you with your building. Um, if you are still curious about things, you can open up the codex and it gives you some good information about mostly power between reactors, radiators, and conduits. Um, you can also find lots of tutorials out there, not just mine. I have some, but there are other people that have placed some. That is pretty much the overview of what, uh, the main UI looks like. Now this is, I do before I end this, obviously this is a set up ship, but if I take this just to give you a better idea in case you haven't explored the game much, and this is maybe your first look at the build menu. If I select all this and delete... This is obviously the grid you start on when building stuff. Um, with the mirror on, grab some armor, and this is kind of the surface you are building on. Obviously, where you can build ends where it hits dark. Um, as you can kind of see by the outline, that's already there. If I undo that, you get that. You will get it back. Now, shields also kind of have a limit. You can kind of, I'll kind of, it's kind of the box of the um, uh, the artwork, so to speak. Kind of depends on the artwork itself. So as you can see, I'm kind of uh, drawing a line and trying to hit the edge for you so you can kind of see where it is. 
that's kind of the limits of the shield you can put around the ship. Um, obviously can't build anything out here. You can scroll to over here, um, but you are limited that way. And this kind of changes for each ship depending on its artwork is what I have found. But for this one, this is what it is. Uh, additional crew members is basically just for if you're in the outer build menu. Um, so it's not really important. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've missed anything for this just main UI. If I have forgot something and you can think of it, put it down in the comment section for those of, uh, for those people that are looking at this tutorial. Otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.